Hey there, and welcome to Thistle Hill Farmstead. Today, we're gonna to be working on our run chicken, automatic chicken door again. If you've watched some of my previous videos, you'll know that I had a problem with the door not opening, so I had to take it off, and I cleaned it, and I contacted the vendor, and they gave me a couple of troubleshooting options to try, and I did that, and it started working again. And it's been working for the past week or so, but now all of a sudden it stopped working again. So I reached back out to the vendor and they were very responsive and they sent me a new photo cell uh, for the door. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna take the door off and I'm gonna replace that photo cell and see if that solves my problem. So come along with us. So the first thing I've got to do is take the door back off of the uh, screen door here so that I can take it inside and actually do some work on it. So it's held on by three screws. Just gonna zip those out. Three screws on each side, I should say, not just three screws. Okay, so that part's done. And then I have this wire here that runs up to the plug up above. So I'll back up a bit so you can see that and we'll thread this wire out of the door um, so that we can get the, the chicken door off. So I've taken the door, the run chicken automatic chicken door off of the screen door here. So now I just need to thread the power cable back out so I can get the door off. So I'm gonna open up my box here just a plug and the way this works is it actually comes apart in the middle so you have a you have the, the outlet part and then you have this plug and it's fairly small so it makes it easy to thread it through uh, this chicken wire on the door or if you had anything else to thread it through uh, it makes it easy to do that Sorry ladies, I know you're trying to drink, but daddy's trying to work. All right, all right. So we're getting there. Let's thread it down through here. Okay, it's out. Now, what I'm gonna try to replace is this photo eye right here that, uh, senses when it gets light and dark hopefully that will uh, resolve our problem with the door so let's go do it hey Charlie okay so I've got the uh, the door over here I'm gonna clean it up just a little bit it's just a paper Got my wet paper towel. Wipe some of this dirt off. And uh, here's the package they sent. And really, all it has in it is uh, the photo eye with some connectors on it. Uh, and a link to a video which I've watched that tells you how to take this apart and disassemble it. Hey, actually, it's in two photo eyes. Look at that. I didn't even realize that but there's two photo eyes. So let's take this thing apart. Okay, so under here, you can see that uh, here's the photo eye right here. It's glued in with some uh, silicone of some sort. And you're supposed to pull this out, cut the wires off, and then put the new one in that comes with a little tape, a tape uh, backing sticker. So let's see if we can get this out. 
oh yeah look at that came out pretty easy and then we'll uh, unwrap it from here and then what they say to do is just cut the wires these are thin enough I'm just going to use a pair of scissors instead of uh, trying to find some wire cutters and then we just need to strip these wires back a bit Get the wire strip back and then what you do is you just take these connectors open this up it's spring loaded and you just stick the wire down in there so let me pull this back stick the wire in there okay that's nice and tight I'll do the same thing with this one Okay, so those two are in there. So that's it. And then we just have to uh, stick this photo eye back down here through the hole like that and take this little piece of sticky, double sided sticky tape off. It should be ready to go. Okay. push it back against there all right seems good and stuck we'll keep this extra one here just in case and then what you do is you just tuck these wires back in here like that and then I'm gonna put it back together so to put it back together we just go the opposite way Got a little little dirt in here. Let me clean that up a little bit. Okay. There we go. Put our screws back in. Tighten those bad boys back up. Okay. So that's it. Now we go and remount it and uh, See if that solved our problem. I wish I had a way to keep it from getting so dirty when it rains, but there's just dirt at the bottom of the of the coop there. I guess I could put some sand there, maybe to keep it from getting so dirty. But maybe that's a chicken coop for you. All right, so let's go remount it. And then uh, I'll let you know tomorrow if it worked. Don't forget this. And so now I'm back out here at the coop. And we're going to reinstall the door. And hopefully that new photo eye is going to solve our problem. Get my screws back out.
top two going and then I'll thread the other ones in. Hey ladies, what's up? That's nothing to eat. Nothing for you to eat. Now I'm getting all my screws started before I tighten anything up. That way if there's uh, anything out of alignment, I can adjust it. Alright, came up one screw short here. What happened? Oh, it's still in my pocket. <laughs> That's good. That's better than losing it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now let's thread our wire back up through. back into our hey, 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 that's not for you to eat plug it back into the power cable and plug her in and then this excess I'm just gonna kind of wrap up all right well it's opening that's a good thing So, it's open. So now, the test will be is uh, I come out tonight and see if it closes. Because uh, what was happening is it wasn't closing, so it was like it wasn't sensing that it was dark. What do you think, girl? Just trying it already. You like it? Yeah. So I came out last night after dark and the door had closed after dark. Now it is the next morning and the door has opened. So that's good news. I think the uh, photo cell may have fixed our problem. So thanks for watching. So I have taken the, uh, the door, chicken, the run chicken door off of the screen door. Now I'm gonna un yeah what am I gonna do I'm gonna unwrangle untangle 